shop, Highway 23 West, just across from Menards in Fond du Lac. Good luck to all area teams from JL's Auto Body and Frame Shop of Fond du Lac. And tonight they bring you the opening tip-off between Fond du Lac and Oshkosh North. All set to step back in and call this one for you through the first quarter. Once again, here's Greg. All right, Tom, it's going to be Ian Wade and Andy Rose jumping it up at center circle. Wade, the 6'6", senior center for Oshkosh North and Andy Rose, a 6'5", junior. Tip controlled by Oshkosh North and the Spartans have the basketball. Just the start of things here from Oshkosh North High School, Greg Stensland and Tom Biolo for WFDL Sports. Ian Wade out top to Grant Horton. Horton with the basketball at the top of the key, right hand side to Shady. Shady takes a couple of dribbles, now brings it back out top to Horton. They swing it around to Raymond on the baseline left hand side. Greg, it's interesting that Fond du Lac has looked like they're coming out and playing a 2-3 zone defense. They're going to force Oshkosh North to shoot from the outside. And there's a long-range jump shot from the right wing by Shady off the back of the rim. No good. The Cardinals bring down the rebound. And Corey Higgins with the basketball in the front court. Drew Diener on the right-hand side. Now the Cardinals bring it out top for Andy Moline. Over to Drew Diener from the right side. 21-footer on the way. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Ian Wade and the long baseball pass to Shady into the forecourt. Top of the key, Wade takes it inside the free throw line, running 14 footer, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Casey Jekyll. Higgins across the timeline to Andy Rose at the free throw line. Left hand side for Jekyll, brings it back out top. Andy Moline on the left wing, guarded there by number 40, Kaler. Back to Jekyll, left-hand side, Drew Diener with the basketball. Bounce pass to Higgins on the near side. His baseline bounce pass for Jekyll is picked off by Wade. First turnover of the basketball game, and the Spartans down the other way. Horton, top of the key for Kaler. Kaler's going to take a three-pointer straight on. No good, the rebound right into the hands of Drew Diener. Quickly ahead to Casey Jekyll on the right-hand side. Loses his dribble momentarily. Now Jekyll's going to take a 10-footer. It goes 11 right into the hands of Horton. Down the other end come the Spartans. Shady to Horton at the top of the key. Ball high over his head. Benji Raymond, 17-footer from the left side is good. Raymond with the first basket of the game. And the Spartans lead 2 to nothing on your Mike's Music scoreboard with 540 left to play in the opening period. Took each team, Greg, uh, about two and a half minutes. Actually, Oshkosh North took them over two and a half minutes to score. They are one of four shooting. Right now, the Redbirds just 0 of two shooting here in the first quarter. Slow developing ball game here early on from the field house at Oshkosh North. Drew Diener is having problems of holding on to the basketball, falls to his knees maintains possession, gets it over to Rose, back to Corey Higgins, and now the Redbirds setting up the offense once again. Higgins on the left wing about 25 feet out, dribbles down low to the baseline. Beautiful pass to Casey Jekyll, and he lays it off the glass and in from the right-hand side to tie the score at two and a beautiful play by Corey Higgins. Yeah, that's a great penetration down the lane, left side. Higgins drew the defense, then got it off to Jekyll, who was wide open. And the easy Three-pointer on the way for Shady. Off the back of the rim, no good. And Moline muscles down the rebound for the Cardinals. Left-hand side, jump shot on the way by Andy Rose from the left wing, about 16 feet out. It's good. And the Cardinals lead 4-2 to two on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Taylor for three from the top of the key down at the other end and North regains the lead at five to four with 420 left to play in the opening stanza. Well, with the zone defense, you're going to force Oshkosh North to shoot the basketball from the outside, and on that particular shot, Taylor made the three. Andy Rose goes up for the shot. He's hammered on the arm by Ian Wade. First personal foul on Wade, and Rose will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Well, 4-11 left, Greg, in the first half of action. Oshkosh North leads 5-4, low-scoring basketball game. I think Fond du Lac may have surprised Oshkosh North coming out in the zone, Greg. Their offense has really been slow to develop. And on the other end, Fond du Lac has played for some good shots. Higgins had a nice drive and penetration and dish off to Jekyll. Fondy's had some shots. Two of four shooting here early on in the first quarter. Now Rose going to the line for two. 
first free throw is good, and the second one is good. Rose makes both free throws. The Cardinals are back in the lead at 6-5. to five. Kaler at the top of the key to Shady on the right baseline. Wade double teamed. He lobs it back out top for Shady. Shady's going to take a 15-footer. It's on the way. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound pulled down by Drew Diener. Drew looking for some help. Lobs it across the midcourt line to Andy Rose. Rose tries to get the ball to Jekyll at the free throw line. Tipped away. Controlled by Diener. To Moline on the baseline left-hand side. He hands off for Jekyll. Guarded there by Wade. And Jekyll will lob it back out top to set up the offense. Diener with the basketball between the circles. Goes around to Moline's screen on the left wing. But the shot isn't open. Leaves it for Jekyll, back to Drew Diener. Looks for the shot, can't take it, Raymond's on him. Jekyll with a 15-footer, no good. Rebound out long to Ian Wade, and here come the Spartans. Wade from 15 feet, a line drive, basket. It's good, and the Spartans back out on top, seven to six. That's the first bucket of the game for Wade. This is the quietest game between Oshkosh North and Fond du Lac that we've witnessed, Greg, since the conference since Fondy came to the conference. Very sparse turnout, surprisingly, for two excellent high school teams here. Andy Rose with a turnaround 10-footer from the left side. No good in and out. Wade pulls down another rebound for the Spartans. Now with a basketball down the left side of the lane. Off the glass it in. Ian Wade with the bucket. Four points in the ball game for Wade. And the Spartans now with a 9-6 lead. Two and a half minutes left to play in the opening period. Drew Diener, 17-footer, high-arching shot. It's good. 9-8, Diener pulls the Cardinals to within one. First bucket of the ball game for Diener. Down at the other end, Horton goes in for the layup, misses it long, but right there to put it back up and in is Key, uh, J, uh, G, J. Kaler. Benji Raymond. Benji Raymond got the rebound. Drew Diener down at the other end. Three-pointer straight on, and it's all tied at 11 with a minute and 57 left to play in the first period. Luke Shady with a three-pointer from the right wing. No good. Battling for the rebound. Raymond is going to be called for the foul coming over the top of Corey Higgins, who was down low in rebound position for the Cardinals. And Benji Raymond picks up his first personal foul. That was an excellent box out inside as Shady took the long three from the right-hand side, Greg. I was watching inside, and Magnum P.I. really did a nice job screening out Ben Raymond. Higgins got the rebound. Raymond went over the back. Good job by the little fella inside, and that's an excellent example of proper technique inside in the toaster screening out. Good job by Corey Higgins. First substitution of the ball games uh, for the Cardinals. Dan Shrum checks in along with Mike Koenigs. 1.45 left to play in the opening period, and the score tied at 11 on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Cardinals with an opportunity to take the lead. We've got a whistle and a foul away from the ball, and it's going to go against the Cardinals, either Moline or Shrum. It's going to take him long, Greg. He got in the ball game about 10 seconds ago, came to the forecourt. I didn't see it. I was watching the ball. Apparently, away from the play, they said Danny must have had an illegal block or something. So a foul on the Cardinals. Fondy turns it over. Now North with the basketball in the front court. Raymond on the right wing. Top of the key, Wade. Jump shot just inside the arc is good. 17-footer for Ian Wade. He's got six tonight, 13 to 11, North by two. 115 left to play in the opening period. Shrum with the basketball on the left-hand side, top of the key for Rose. Now Drew Diener with the ball on the right wing, takes it to the free throw line, leaves it for Shrum. Dan Shrum with a couple of dribbles back between the circles, now backs his way up near the midcourt line, dribbles down low to the baseline, and Ian Wade it out of bounds, and the Cardinals will reload on the baseline. Pretty good man-to-man -man defense by Oshkosh North on that particular trip. Fondy finally got the ball to uh, Shrum, and he dribbled from near half court, right-hand side. I think he was going to go up for the shot, and Wade tipped it out of bounds. Drew Diener, inbound pass to Andy Rose, cutting down the lane, and Rose lays it up and in over the front of the basket to tie the score at 13. Andy Rose has six points in this first period. Wade with a cross-court pass to Vandenbugard, down low on the baseline to Raymond, and a three-pointer from the left baseline by Benji Raymond, and Oshkosh North 
up by three, 16 to 13, seven points for Raymond with 20 seconds left to play in the quarter. Drew Diener drives down low, gets the ball tipped away by Raymond. Down the other end, Benji Raymond with the layup. 18-13 North stretches their lead to five. 10 seconds left to play in the quarter. Diener down at the other end. His shot is blocked by Raymond, but Diener saves it right into the hands of Andy Rose, and he lays it up and in at the buzzer, and that is the end of the first period of play. On your Mike's music scoreboard after one from Oshkosh North High School, it's the Spartans of Oshkosh North 18 and the Goodrich High Cardinals 15. We're back with second period action after this timeout. Okay, take uh, one minute. Take one minute. All right, Tom. I now hand you the microphone. I need your score sheet. Slide down just a tad, Luke. Thanks, you, yeah, you. Okay, bring it back after Murray, please. Cardinals quickly with a three-pointer right-hand side by Shrum. No good. Rebound controlled by Oshkosh North. Here they come to the forecourt. Vanden Bugard, left-hand side, shot of the way. Wade with a rebound, put back inside, and Ian Wade puts it up and in. And the score is now 20 to 15 with 7.35 remaining in the opening half. On your Mike's Music scoreboard, a whistle for some reason. Referee comes to the official scores table and explains something to somebody. 7.35 remaining, second quarter, Oshkosh North 20, Fond du Lac 15 on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Redbirds now will inbound under some token pressure in the backcourt. Mike Koenigs dribbles up under pressure. Aaron Vandenbugard guards him. Now Koenigs left-hand side to the forecourt. Gives it off to Drew. Free throw line extended on the left. Drew goes to the free throw line, lobs it inside. Nice pass from Casey Jekyll inside for Andy Rose, and he lays it up and in. Fondy comes to the back into the backcourt, plays good defense. Turnover Oshkosh North, their first turnover of the basketball game. Cardinals could tie it with a bomb or get to within one with a two-pointer here. Shrum just off the free throw line, left-hand side, lobs it inside for Jekyll. Back to the top of the free throw line. Andy Rose with a 16-footer. He puts it up and in. Cards back to within one. 20 to 19 as the tempo picks up. Other end, Benji Raymond, shot partially blocked by Andy Rose. Here comes Drew Diener, four court right side. Drew gives it off to Rose, 15 footer, off the mark, no good. Ian Wade with a rebound, so the tempo, Greg, has really picked up. Six and a half minutes. On the other end, a long three point attempt, no good. Rebound, Danny Shrum. Outlet left hand side to Mike Koenigs. Cardinals in there traveling red jerseys with the white numerals and trim against Oshkosh North in their gray jerseys and white trim and green numerals. A foul now offensively going to be called on Chad Magnuson as Mike Koenigs drove baseline. Magnuson commits the foul. Only the third team foul on North here in the first half. Fond du Lac out rebounded Oshkosh North 7 to 5. Cardinals committed three turnovers, none for Spartans in that first period. Fondy with a basketball. Higgins back into the basketball game. Top of the silo on the right-hand side to Drew. About 23 feet out. Guarded there by Raymonds. Drew baseline. Nice one-handed bounce pass inside to Andy Rose. Give Andy 14. Give Drew a beautiful assist. And give the Cardinals a one-point lead at 21-20. Now Raymonds on the other end. From the left-hand side, 21-footer. No good. Rebound Shrum. Here comes Fondy. Fast-breaking basketball. Casey Jacob. 
Cardinal, right hand side, lays it up and in, and the Fondy Cardinals lead it by three, 23-20, a excellent opening three minutes here of the second quarter for the Redbirds of Fond du Lac. Benji Raymond with a wide open three pointer right hand side is good. We are tied at 23 all. Rose with a basketball quickly to the forecourt on the right hand side to Danny Shrum. Shrum free throw line extended. Bounces now into the corner. Goes all the way underneath. Tried to get a cross court to Andy Rose, but his pass was a little bit wide on the baseline. Rolls out of bounds. Fourth turnover on Fond du Lac. And Oshkosh North will get it back with. 450 left here in the second quarter. We are tied at 23 all on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Glad to have you aboard tonight on Sunny 97 WFDL Radio. Well, you talk about having to stop Ian Wade and Benji Raymond. They've got 20. Long jump shot by Bill Adams, no good. Finding with a rebound, drew into the forecourt. Three-pointer shot at long, out of bounds. It's going to be Oshkosh North basketball. Danny Shrum tried to hustle and save that errant shot by Drew, but it went out of bounds, so Oshkosh North will have it back. talked about uh, Drew's sprained ankle. He sprained it in practice on Saturday. Here in the first half, do you think it's affecting his play? It doesn't look like it. He's had a couple of real nice passes and a couple of shots that have gone in. Looks to be healthy. North with a basketball, Shady. Top of the silo on the right-hand side, now to Grant Horton, right back to Shady on the left-hand side. From inside out, that's Bill Adams with the basketball. They go right-hand side for a three. Raymond's three off the mark. KC in the sunshine band with a rebound for Fondy. Outlet pass to Higgins. Into the forecourt now. Higgins will drive the length of the court. Shot laid up, rejected by Wade. Here comes Ian Wade the other way, right to left. Wade stops. 14-footer blocked by Rose. Scramble for the basketball. In the corner. Jump ball going to be called. Alternating possession goes with Oshkosh North. And Greg, this game has really heated up. And we said how quiet it was early on in the first quarter. Boy, I'll tell you what, this second quarter has been very enjoyable. Up and down the court, and isn't it exciting to see Andy Rose having such an outstanding first half offensively and defensively now with a huge block on an Ian Wade jump shot. North with a basketball on the inbounds, left-hand side in the corner. That's Luke Shady for three, no good. Rebound controlled, put up back up by G.J. Kaler once, no good. Fondy finally gets the rebound. Here comes the Cardinals. Shrum, left to right on your WFDL sundial. Shrum to the free throw line. Left hand side to Rose. He drives baseline. Shot blocked by Wade, but Rose stayed with it. Got the rebound and put it up and in. Fondy with a two point lead. On the other end, Benji Raymond drives baseline from left to right. His shot was blocked, but a foul is going to be called on Fond du Lac. And Andy Rose, Greg, 16 points here, three minutes. 17 seconds remaining in the first half of action. Redbirds lead it 25-23, and Andy Rose is single-handedly, at least offensively, kept Fondy with the lead in this basketball game. Well, and the Cardinals have outscored the Spartans 10-5 in the second period. They shot <laughs> midway through the second. Oshkosh North, on the other hand, Tom, 2 of 12 from the field in this second period. The Spartans have cooled off. Well, that's a combination of Fondy picking it up defensively. Raymonds goes to the free throw line for two. His first is no good. Second is on the way. It's good. Chalk up another one for Ben Raymond. It's a one-point Cardinal lead with three. 14 left here in the first half on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Drew will walk it up left to right. Over the timeline now, greeted there at half court by Ben Raymond. Drew drives free throw line left hand side, and they're going to call a foul. I believe it's going to go on Ben Raymond for elbowing Drew as he got to the free throw line. Fourth team foul on Oshkosh North. And um, I believe just the first personal on Ben Raymond. Fondy gets it out. Drew, 23 footer. He put it up and in from the top of the silo. That was an NBA three loop and Drew put it in the bottom of the barrel. Cardinals lead 28-24. Beautiful shot by Drew Diener from about 23 feet out. Now a shot taken by G. J. Kaler, no good. Rose with a rebound. Here comes Magnum P.I. Right hand side to Shrum at the free throw line extended. Back out on top to Drew. He looks to take Raymond one-on-one -on -one now, passes right hand side to Shrum. 
Shrum looking inside, nothing there. Now dribbles to the baseline, goes back on top to Rose, right hand side with a basketball. 220 left. Drew, top of the key, jump shot. No good. Rebound controlled, Bill Adams. Outlet left side, here comes Grant Horton. Quickly to the baseline on the left hand side, that's Raymond. Back to Horton, top of the silo on the left. They go to the right hand side and right back to the left to Grant Horton. Looking inside for Raymond, nothing there. Cardinals playing good defense. Now a jump shot from the right hand side in the corner by Bill Adams. The 6'3 sophomore is good. 28 26. Cardinals in the lead by two. A minute and 50 left here in the first quarter, excuse me, first half. And now in the backcourt as Higgins was bringing it up. Luke Shady going to be called for the foul. The fifth team foul tonight here in the first half on Oshkosh North. And Fondy will get the rock on the sidelines right near half court. last six tries, they were one of ten from the field prior to that shot. Fondy with a basketball. Higgins, top of the silo on the left-hand side, looks inside for Rose at the lane. Now he gets out of there and gets it back to Drew on the left. Couple of dribbles. Drew, nice move, gets open, 16-footer. I think that was either it looked like he was fouled on the play, Greg, but no call made because the shot was missed badly. Wade comes, gets the rebound, goes to the other end, shot no good. It looked as if Drew's hand was hacked on that shot. Now Drew's coming down the lane, drives and slices through the lane, and a foul is going to be called on Oshkosh Norse Bill Adams. Going back to that previous play, Drew got it out on top near the left-hand side and took a couple of dribbles into the lane and took a jump shot, and it really looked as if his wrist was hacked, and you could tell that the projection of the ball was badly, you know, it wasn't a typical good rotation, but no call made. Drew Diener right now uh, has eight points, two three-pointers, and uh, he will be inbounding uh, on the baseline for the Cardinals. Oshkosh North, Tom, three of 14 from the field in this second period. Credit Fond du Lac's defense in the second quarter. Redbirds with a two-point lead, 28-26. Drew, top of the silo, loses his balance but keeps the basketball and nicely gets it to Shrum. Shrum with it, right hand side, top of the key. Cross court to Casey Jekyll. Jekyll up and back on the free throw line, gets it back on the top to Drew for a three. Bingo, Drew Diener, 21-footer, right hand side. Second trifecta for Double D and the Cardinals lead it. 31-26, 45 seconds left in the first half. Good ball movement that time for Fondy. They got Drew Diener open, and he drilled the three. Oshkosh North now with a basketball. Offensively, left-hand side, Luke Shady with it. Looks as if the Spartans might play for the final shot. Shady, corner, left-hand side to G.J. Kaler. Kaler gets it back out on top, and it looks as if they spread the offense going for the final shot of the first half. Fondy, now Kaler's going to throw up a three. He missed it badly. Wade got the rebound. His tip in no good, but then from behind, a foul is going to be called on Casey Jekyll. That's what Fond du Lac wanted, Greg. G.J. Kaler took a three with about 20 seconds left. Unfortunately for Fondy, Wade was there to grab the rebound, and then he was fouled from behind. Quick inbounds. They get it to Wade. Short hook shot on the way. No good. Tipped one time by Kaler. No good. Drew Diener with a rebound. Looks at the clock. Seven seconds left. Drew, four court left hand side to Higgins. He has it taken away to half court. That's Troy Petchum with a basketball. Long shot at the buzzer is no good. And we have come to the end of the first half of action. Boy, did it pick up in the second quarter. Halftime score on your Mike's Music scoreboard. The Fond du Lac Cardinals, 31. The Oshkosh North Spartans.
tough job early on and just remain full throughout the first half. And I think Vic has generally had to improve with the way his team played in the first half. set to step back in and call the third point. Once again, here's Greg. All right, Tom. Drew Diener will inbound on the far side. Does so to Corey Higgins, and the Cardinals have the basketball to start this second half. Higgins with a bounce pass to Diener on the left side and drew a couple of dribbles back to the top of the key to Andy Rose, and he swings it around on the right-hand side to Corey Higgins. Andy Moline at the free throw line. Drew Diener on the right wing, guarded by Raymond. Goes around a screen by Mal to the left wing. Now a cross court pass to Higgins. Back to Drew Diener. Left hand side, three pointer on the way. It's short. Scramble for the ball. Diener almost saves it on the near side, but the ball trickles out of bounds on the baseline, and the Cardinals turn it over, and the Spartans get the basketball in backcourt. Horton brings it up across the timeline, guarded by Rose. Free throw line for Raymond, left hand side to Shady. Launches one from three point range, bounces around the rim a few times. Raymond gets the offensive rebound, takes it inside the paint, off the glass, off the rim, no good. But he draws the foul. Andy Rose is going to be charged with the foul. Well, Shady's three pointer, Greg, from the left baseline was bouncing off the rim at least three times. It gave Raymond opportunity to move around the screen, get the rebound with the putback. It did not go in, but the foul was called on Andy Rose. So Benji Raymond goes to the free throw line for two opportunities for the Ashcott North High Spartan. He makes the first. That gives him 14 points on the evening, and Raymond will have one more. He eyes the bucket. The Shot is in the air, it's in the bucket, it's good. 15 points for Benji Raymond, and the Spartans are now to within three at 31 to 28. Seven minutes left to play in the third quarter. Corey Higgins down the lane, bounce pass to Drew Diener, cutting to the hoop, and he lays it up and in from the left-hand side. Good assist from Higgins, and Diener lays it off the glass and in. It's 33-28, Cardinals up by five. Down low to Raymond, underneath. He lays it up, no good, and then tips up the missed shot. Oshkosh North to within three, and Raymond steals the inbound pass. Reverse layup, no good. Diener grabs the rebound for the Cardinals. Fondy into the forecourt now. Diener with a pass to Jekyll, cutting down the lane. It's tipped out of bounds by Ian Wade. And the Cardinals will inbound on the baseline, but Fond du Lac a little sloppy there on the inbound pass, enabling Raymond to step in front and pick it off. Well, got fortunate. Raymond missed the layup, and then Fond du Lac got the rebound. Now the Cardinals inbound. Andy Rose, free throw line extended, left-hand side, top of the key for Diener. Casey Jekyll at the free throw line to Andy Rose on the left wing. 13-footer is long. Moline with the offensive rebound to keep the ball alive. Cross-court pass to Drew Diener. Leans in from 10. It goes 11 right into the hands of Ian Wade. Wade was standing there, and the ball came right to him. Now a foul, and a whistle is going to go against Oshkosh North. A foul away from the play. Benji Raymond is going to be whistled for his third personal foul, pushing off away from the ball with 6.02 left to play in the third period. Cardinals get the basketball back, leading by three. Cardinals hanging on, excuse me, to a three-point lead, and that's a big foul on Oshkosh North. Ben Raymond picks up his third. He stays in the game. Drew Diener to Andy Rose at the top of the silo. Right-hand side to Corey Higgins. Fakes it to his right, takes it back to the left. Inside the lane, running eight, footer off the glass and in. 35 to 30, first bucket of the ball game for Higgins. Down at the other end, Raymond's 19 footers off the side of the rim. And Moline pulls down another Cardinal rebound. Casey Jekyll from 10 on the right-hand side. No good, but he follows up his shot. Gets the rebound and puts it up and in. 37-30, Cardinals with their biggest lead of the ball game. On your Mike's Music scoreboard, Oshkosh North calls a timeout. 5.25 left to play in the third. It's Fond du Lac 37, Oshkosh North 30. We're back in one minute.
six for Jekyll. Substitution for the Spartans, Bill Adams checks into the lineup. He's got the basketball, the Raymond on the left baseline, guarded there by Jekyll. Shady with a three-pointer from the left wing, no good. Rebound tipped out, long controlled by Higgins. Double teamed in backcourt, gets out of trouble, brings it across the timeline. Drew Diener to Andy Rose on the baseline, quickly back to Drew. Gets the ball tipped away, but controlled by Jekyll. Now Drew Diener, 21-footer from the right-hand side is good. Nothing but net for Drew Diener. He's got 14 points, and the Cardinals lead by 10, 40 to 30 on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Shot is rejected by Andy Rose. Horton went up, and Rose slapped it down to the court. Diener tracks it down in the corner, and the Cardinals bring it up, leading by 10 over the ninth-ranked Spartans. Diener from 17 on the right baseline, no good. Follows up the shot, loose ball on the court. Picked up by Jekyll, inside the paint, five-footer, no good. Wade muscles down down the rebound for the Spartans. Horton down at the other end, leans in off the glass and in from the left-hand side, five feet out, and it's 40 to 32. Cardinals lead is at eight. First two points for Grant Horton. Fond du Lac missed an opportunity, but boy, the Cardinals have played well really in the second quarter, and now here halfway through the third. Good basketball game by Fond du Lac. Four minutes left to go, third quarter. Cardinals up 40 to 32. And a foul going to be charged against Adams, pushing off against Diener on the right baseline. And that's going to be a second team foul for Oshkosh North. Shrum will check into the Cardinal lineup and a couple of substitutions for the Spartans. Troy Peckman will check in along with Chad Magnuson. Adams and Shady have a rest on the Spartan bench. Higgins comes out for Fond du Lac, 3.59 left. Third quarter, Fondy by eight on your Mike's Music scoreboard, 40 to 32. Diener lobs it out top for Rose. Rose holding on to the basketball. Now Raymond comes up to meet him. Shrum around the horn on the right-hand side to Jekyll. Back to Shrum between the circles to Drew Diener on the left wing. Diener dribbles between his legs. 17-footer on the way from the left-hand side. It's good, and it's 42-32. Diener's got 16. And the Cardinals back up by 10, and Diener nearly got a steal. Horton at the free throw line. Right hand side to Magnuson, back to the top of the key for Horton. Horton to Raymond on the left baseline, back to Horton. 319 left to play in the third period. Good defense by the Cardinals. Raymond drives baseline. Left hand side, eight footer off the glass, off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Diener, and the Cardinals with a 10 point lead. Three minutes left to play in the third period. Diener down the lane, over Wade, lays it up no good, but a player in control foul is going to be called against Drew Diener. The referee hesitated before signaling who the foul was going to be called against. It goes against Diener. They say that Wade had position underneath. And so the Cardinals turn it over and the Spartans get the ball in backcourt. Well, only the first personal on Drew, so no foul trouble there. 42-32, Cardinals lead by 10. 2.59 left in the third quarter. So Fond du Lac really doing the job here tonight on the road. And defensively, I'm very happy with the way Fond du Lac has come out and played very tough. They forced Oshkosh North early to hit from the outside. And I think Dick came in with an excellent game plan, Luft. I think Oshkosh North is reeling just a bit offensively. With the basketball, Magnuson down low on the left-hand side to Peckman. His pass is tipped away, still controlled by Horton and the Spartans to Benji Raymond. 4-3 from the left baseline, no good. Wade tips it up once, no good. Gets the rebound, puts it off the glass and in, and he's fouled by Rose. And Ian Wade will go to the free throw line to try to complete a three-point play. 
with 2.39 left to play in the third period. Ian Wade, excellent play there. Raymond's had a wide open baseline three, which was no good. Ian Wade tipped it up once, no good. Got his second chance, put it back in. He was fouled on the play. The foul went against Danny Shrum. Ian Wade trying to get them back to within seven. He makes the free throw, Wade does. A three-point play, 42-35. Cardinals by seven on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Drew Diener, 11 points in the ballgame for Wade. Diener between the circles, left-hand side, loses his dribble, feeds it for Jekyll. His shot is partially blocked. Rose gets the rebound and kisses it off the glass and in from the left-hand side. 18 points for Andy Rose. 44-35, Cardinals back up by nine. Peckman shot rejected by Jekyll right into the hands of Moline and he'll hand the basketball to Diener and he'll walk the ball across the midcourt stripe. Diener with the basketball. Jump pass down low for Shrum. Lays it off the glass and in. Beautiful pass by Drew Diener. I think the Spartans thought Diener was going to shoot the three. Instead, it was a pass to Shrum, his first two. And the Cardinals up by 11, 46-35. That's Fondy's biggest lead of the basketball game. Wade for three from the left baseline. His shot is short. Rebound pulled down by Diener. 129 left to play in the third period. Cardinals right now in command by 11. Yeah, Fond du Lac has scored 15 points here in this third quarter. More importantly and more impressive defensively, they've really shut down Oshkosh North. Jekyll with a basketball at the top of the key. Wade's on him back to Diener. 109 and counting in this third period of play. Jekyll holding on to the basketball near the top of the key. Wade going for the steal, didn't get it. Left-hand side, Shrum. 15-footer on the way, no good, and a whistle and a foul. Going to be called against the Cardinals. I think Andy Moline is going to be whistled for the foul, pushing off, trying to get position for the rebound. And Dick uh, arguing the call, thinking there was a foul there, and um, to no avail, Craig. I'll tell you what, that was a close call that went Oshkosh North's way that particular trip down the court. 55 seconds left. Cardinals still by 11, 46 to 35. All right, 55 seconds left to play in the third period. Cardinals lead by 11, and now North brings the basketball up. Quickly, Higgins checks in, and Drew Diener will take a seat for probably the remainder of the third. Magnuson with the basketball to Raymond on the right-hand side. His three-pointer is good, but a foul is called before the shot. And the foul is going to go against Andy Moline. Well, I think Ian Wade just found out why Andy Moline was an all-state linebacker. Wade was picking for Raymond on that three-pointer right-hand side. Mal just absolutely bulldozed Ian Wade, and he was called for the foul. The shot will not count because the foul was called before the shot. That is, however, five team fouls now on Fond du Lac compared to just two on Oshkosh North here late in the third quarter. Well, the Spartans will inbound right below us on the baseline. We are in the balcony behind the basket, in this case, Oshkosh North's basket in the third period at the field house. Horton will do the inbounding, does so to Wade on the right wing, takes it inside the lane, off the glass and in. Whistle and a foul charge to Andy Rose. And Raymond will go to the free throw line to try to pull Oshkosh North to within eight. That was a very late foul call, too. Raymond sliced through the rain, lane from the baseline, right-hand side. His shot went in, and then a, really a delayed call there on what didn't, at least from up here, didn't look like a foul. So North, to me anyway, got another break here late in the third quarter. So with 42 seconds left, they're back to within nine at 46-37, and Ben Raymond going to the free throw line. Give Raymond credit, too. He took the ball to the hole strong, and now he's at the free throw line. Benji Raymond, free throw on the way is good, but we've got a lane violation against Oshkosh North, so the free throw will not count. So about 15 seconds ago, Raymond had a three-pointer that didn't count because a foul was called against Fond du Lac, and now he's got a free throw that's taken away because one of his teammates went into the lane too early. Uh, 39 seconds left to play 
third period. Cardinals up 46 37 as Higgins brings it up across the timeline to Shrum. Back to Higgins under 30 seconds left to go in the third period. Cardinals may be playing for the final shot of the quarter. I'm thinking they're going to play for the final shot here. Try to get that lead back to double digits to go into the fourth. Here they'll go into their offense now with 10 seconds. Drew Diener dishes off to Jekyll. His pass is tipped from behind and a whistle and a foul going to be called against Oshkosh North with five seconds left to play in the third period as the Cardinals tried to get it down low to Casey Jekyll and a whistle and a foul is called. Now the Cardinals will inbound on the baseline and try to set up a play here to get a shot off with five seconds left. And that's the second personal foul on Ian Wade here and the Cardinals have plenty of time to set up the final shot, five seconds. Diener inbounds to Jekyll, he's open on the right hand side, gets the easy layup, 48 to 37. And that is the end of the third period of play. On your Mike's Music scoreboard, after three, it's the Cardinal Express, 48, Oshkosh North, 37. We'll be back with fourth quarter action after this timeout. Take one minute, take one minute. Oshkosh North as we start the fourth quarter of play. Fond du Lac with an 11 point lead, 48-37. To start the fourth quarter, Danny Shrum has whistled for a foul right off the bat as he ran through a pick. So Shrum picks up a foul there. The seventh team foul on Fondy, Greg. The rest of the way, Oshkosh North goes to the line. That's a big foul. The entire fourth quarter, North will have the bonus and then after the 10th, they'll have two. First free throw on the way and good for Chad Magnuson. 48-38, Fond du Lac by 10, just underway, fourth quarter on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Fondy with a basketball into the forecourt. Casey Jekyll just over the half court line, left hand side, couple of dribbles now. Yo yo's through his legs, still on the left to Shrum. Shrum back out on top to Drew, top of the silo. Drew high over his head, looking, goes right hand side, stops, backs out, now approaches the hoop once again, left hand side to Jekyll. Jekyll back out on top to Drew, and the Cardinals take time offensively. Danny Shrum, right hand side with a basketball. Looking inside, nothing there, goes to Jekyll. Bounce pass inside for Moline. He looked to the hoop, nothing was there. He got it back to the free throw line to Jekyll. Back on the right hand side, Danny Shrum with a three pointer. No good, Ian Wade with a rebound. Wade's gonna drive the length of the court, lay it up, no good. Rebound, Wade got his own rebound, put it up one time, it was blocked by Rose. And then Casey Jekyll comes away with a rebound for Fond du Lac. Good defense once again by Andy Rose. Drew with a basketball, top of the silo, right side, 17-footer, no. Positioning for the rebound inside, a foul is going to be called apparently on Andy Moline, and with 6.59 left, we'll have a bonus situation. We'll, we'll take a quick 30-second timeout. Fond du Lac, 48, Oshkosh North, 39. We're back after this. I, I didn't know Luke. <laughs> okay, just a 30 here. We didn't know if we were off the air or something. We heard a real click. We'll take it right after this. <clears throat> that's, that's slattery, too. <laughs> Back
Back at Oshkosh, Grant Horton goes to the free throw line and makes two free throws. So with six minutes and 59 seconds left here in the fourth quarter, Fondy's lead is now down to seven at 48-41 on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Pro comebacks are, we've seen it happen a lot of times. Oshkosh North already four of four free throws here in the fourth. Yeah, Fondy already with eight fouls here in the second half. Shot by Fond du Lac, no good rebound, Ben Raymond. Here comes Oshkosh North. Raymond, four court baseline, goes back out on top. Free throw line jump shot, no good for Oshkosh North. Rebound, here comes Higgins. Transition basketball. Drew for three, no good. Rebound, Casey Jekyll loses it from behind, and then Pete Wade goes to the floor and calls a timeout. So with six minutes and 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter, timeout on the tartan floor. Fond du Lac, 48. Oshkosh North, 41. You're listening to high school basketball tonight on WFDL. We'll be back in 30 seconds. <laughs> Look at Whitey. Whitey the goofer. Did I not say, bring it back in 30 seconds? 60. Is it that hard to follow directions? <clears throat> We'll take it after this. Thank you. Damn it. As we come back to Oshkosh North, Chad Magnuson made a three-pointer right-hand side. On the other end, Drew Diener went into the lane, made a layup, and they call a charge on Drew and Greg. The first real noticeable terrible call of the evening. There are no way that was a charge on Drew on that particular shot, and the ref now getting an earful, and deservedly so on that one, from not only the Cardinal bench, but the Cardinal faithful here this evening. Right now, you've got to look at the clock, Tom. The Cardinals were up by 11 points just a few minutes ago. All of a sudden, Oshkosh North is right back in it, 48 to 44, and the Spartans have the basketball. And right now, and the referee are having a few words. Well, the referee showing up Dick just a little bit, and again, trying to show a little bit of control, the Zebra taking over the control of this basketball game. He's got rabbit ears. He's not even watching the game. He's watching Dick on the bench, ready to tee him up, Luft. North with a basketball. Just referee the game. North has it trailing by four. Grant Horton left to right on your WFDL radio dial into the corner of the Raymond on the left-hand side. Benji back out on top to Ian Wade, who came from inside out. Wade now into the lane, shot of the way. No good, and there's the call. That'll go Fond du Lac's way. Ian Wade is whistled for the charge. So two questionable charges on both ends, Greg. And Fondy gets the basketball back. Third personal on Ian Wade. Yeah, well, it has, Greg. It has. But, you know, Drew's, Drew's charge was real questionable. And then... You know, the entire crowd getting on the ref, and the ref then gave the towel back to Dick and then told him to sit down. Now, on a drive by Corey Higgins down the middle of the lane, he is fouled on the way in, and Higgins is going to go to the free throw line and a standing O from the Fond du Lac faithful. And I'm not getting on the refs, Greg. I'm just 
explaining what's happening here this evening. And I guess it's from a Fond du Lac perspective, but there's been a couple of calls that have not gone Fond du Lac's way tonight, and now they get one, and the fans give up and give us standing on just explaining what's happening on the court. I agree. Overall, it's been a pretty well-refereed basketball game. All right, Drew will inbound on the baseline. Baseline pass to a wide open Jekyll. His shot is missed, but Jekyll gets his own rebound and gets it back to Rose. Top of the key, right side, shrub for three, and he put it up and in. Credit Jekyll and Rose for keeping it alive. Shrum gets a three, and the Cardinals back by seven. Wade on the inside, his shot on the way, no good. Somehow Higgins comes away with a rebound. Little Corey Higgins inside gets the rebound. Fondi, Rose, baseline, 12 footer, it's good. And the Cardinals are back just like that, on top by nine, 53-44. Fondi with two consecutive hoops, a three by Shrum, and a baseline J by Rose to get the lead back to within nine. Now Wade, 17-footer, no good. Jekyll with a rebound in the coffin corner, and Fondi with a nice little run here, Greg. Four minutes left, leads this basketball game by nine. 5-0 run by the Cardinals. Andy Rose now with 20 points in the basketball game. Fondi with a basketball. Four court right side. That's Magnum P.I. to Drew in the double circles near half court. Man-to-man -man defense for North. 345 now left in the fourth quarter. Rose, top of the silo, left side to Drew, right in front of his paw on the bench. Drew quickly passes the basketball. Higgins has it, free throw line extended right hand side. Back out on top to Drew. The Redbirds now running the clock here late in the basketball game. Higgins drives into the lane. He's pushed from behind by Grant Horton. That'll be the sixth team foul on Oshkosh North. And that little 5-0 run, Greg, has really ignited Fond du Lac here midway through the fourth quarter. Dan Shrum and uh, the Cardinals right now have extended their lead to nine. Three and a half minutes left to play. One more Oshkosh North foul, and Oshkosh North pretty soon uh, is going to have to think about fouling the Cardinals. Cardinals will be going to the free throw. Higgins has the basketball. Right hand side, now left hand side to Drew Diener near half court. Bounce pass to Rose right in front of the Fondy bench. Looking at the clock, three. 14, well, they, they failed to start the clock for about 10 seconds there. Fondi has it inside. Nice turnaround jump shot up and in for Casey Jekyll. They didn't start the clock for about five or six seconds there, but Fondi still scores an 11-point Fondi lead. How about that? Now a three-point attempt by North. No good. Drew Diener with a rebound. Here comes Fondi. Drew ahead to Rose. Shot left side off the board and good for Andy Rose. A 13-point lead for Fond du Lac. Now on the sidelines, a foul is called away from the play, and it's going to go against Oshkosh North. A blocking foul on Oshkosh North, and Fond du Lac gets a standing ovation from the faithful who made the trip up here, here this evening. 2.41 left in the fourth quarter. Fond du Lac 57. And Ian Wade was whistled for the foul, and he has fouled out of the basketball game. Cardinals in command. 2.41 left. 57 Fond du Lac. 44 Oshkosh North. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Fondy's played excellent defense, Luke. They really have. <clears throat> we'll take it after Hardy's, man. Well, 2.41 left in this basketball game, Stens. 
57-44, Fondy by 13, and the Redbirds, in my opinion tonight, Greg, defensively have won this basketball game. It's not over yet, but to this point, Fondy's defensive structure tonight has really screwed up North. Corey Higgins is going to the free throw line after the foul. Ian Wade's fifth foul. He's out of the game. Higgins in the bonus. First free throw on the way. No good. Rebound, Ben Raymond. Here comes Oshkosh North. Raymond will dribble up left to right over the WFDL timeline at half court. Into the corner of the right-hand side to Aaron Von Bugard. Von Bugard goes top of the side of the Luke Shady. They swing on the right-hand side now to Bill Adams. Adams cross-court on the left to Shady. Back into the court of the bump. Gouhard, and it was stolen away. <laughs> stolen away by Shrum. Shrum took it out of Von Bugard's hand. They go length of the court, and Casey Jekyll with a beautiful pass lays it up and in. Fondy 59, Oshkosh North. 44, Raymond down the lane, spins at the line, 15-footer, uh-uh, no good, rebound Andy Rose, full court pressure, Drew Diener to Jekyll, wide open, he lays it up and in, and a foul is going to be called on Aaron Vanden Bugard, and the Cardinals will win it in exciting fashion here tonight. 153 left in the fourth quarter, Fond du Lac 61, and Oshkosh North 44, what a performance, Greg, by the Redbirds on the road here this evening. This game should silence some of the critics who, after only one loss, were starting to get on Fond du Lac just a little bit. Big win for the Cards tonight. Jekyll's free throw, however, is no good. North with a rebound, quickly to the forecourt. Grant Horton, left-hand side, three-pointer by Magnuson, off the back of the iron. Drew with another rebound. He has really played a good game tonight. Fonny with a basketball. Drew feeds Jekyll inside, shot off the glass, no good. Shrum gets the long rebound. Quickly to Drew on the left-hand side, wide open, does not take the shot. Wisely, Fond du Lac running clock. That last miss shot, the first miss by the Cardinals in six attempts. They'd hit six shots in a row up to that point. Fondy with a basketball. Drew down the side court, went to the middle, turned it over. Here comes Oshkosh North. Benji Raymond, shot on the way, no good. Got his own rebound, puts it back up. No good, but a foul. Inside is going to be called on Fond du Lac. And Ben Raymond will go to the free throw line for Oshkosh North. He will have a couple of freebies. Raymond goes to the free throw line. His first is no good. A minute and nine left. Here's the score. Fondy, 61. Oshkosh North, 44 on your Mike's Music scoreboard. Raymond gets a second opportunity. It's good. 61-45, a 16-point Fondy lead. Inbounds pass to half court. Drew Diener to Rose. He goes center of the court to KC in the Sunshine Band. Jekyll with a rock goes top of the key. Right-hand side to Rose now. Rose high over his head to Drew. Free throw line extended on the right-hand side. Cross court now the Cardinals swing on the perimeter. Shrum with it. Near half court now dribbling right-hand side. Gets it off to Rose. Andy with a basketball, dribbles down the sideline, lobs it in for Shrub, shot on the way, Danny Shrub put it up and in. Nice ball movement by Fondy, and Shrub the beneficiary of a beautiful pass by Andy Rose. He put it up and in, now on the other end, a foul is called on Andy Rose, but what a performance tonight. First of all, by the team. Second of all, Andy Rose has really played an excellent ball game here this evening, Luf Postlewaite. See a couple of uh, Viking players, Winnebago Lutheran Academy stars, Jake Slattery and uh, Derek Scheidt up here to watch the game. 
but a big, important victory for the Cardinals early in the season on the road against Oshkosh North. Two free throws made by Oshkosh North. Grant Hort, now the Cardinals get wholesale substitutions. Dallas Diener, Jake Brandau, Brad Ranke, uh, also Nate Stoikes in there for the Cardinals along with Ryan Blaine. A steal by Oshkosh North and an easy basket for Ben Raymond, 63-49. Fondy with the lead, only 15 seconds left. Jake Brandau in the backcourt is gonna be fouled, so Jake the Snake headed to the free throw line for Fond du Lac with just 12 seconds left. He'll have the opportunity now, Greg, to get on the board or get on the books with a free throw. Out there right now, once again, for Fond du Lac. Uh, into the game is Dallas Diener, also the ankle biter, Nate Stoikes. Jake the Snake Brandau is in there. Brad Ranke also in there, and Ryan Blaine for Fond du Lac. Good to see everybody or at least everyone trying to get some playing time here this evening. Brandau's free throw, no good. Rebound back near the free throw line. Scramble for the basketball near half court. Jump ball called, and it's going to, who is it? Going to stay with Fond du Lac. Impressive victory tonight for Fondy. Right now with just seven seconds left, 63-49 Fond du Lac. Ranky to inbounds on the side court, gets it to Dallas Diener. He drives baseline, 16-footer, no good. Rebound tipped, controlled by Oshkosh North, and that's it. It's over. Impressive win tonight for Fond du Lac. Final score on your Mike's Music scoreboard. The Fond du Lac Cardinals come to Oshkosh North and beat the Spartans handily. Final score, 63-49 Fond du Lac. And we'll be back with the post-game show after these timeouts.